Hey, this is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com. We are here in Chicago at the Anthrax Show checking out Rob's gear. Rob, you've got a couple uh, guitars that you're using tonight, obviously. Yep. Uh, can you tell us about the main guitar? This is my uh, this is my new ESP signature model, which I'm really excited and proud of. <laughs> um, it's basically, it's based off of, uh, off of my original old uh, Horizon that those guys sent me years ago in like 96. And that guitar was my favorite guitar for a long time and um, this one's basically, you know, kind of a replica of that but there's also some tweaks and some different things that I wanted. Um, the side uh, fret markers here on the neck are glow in the dark, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of hard to tell, but um, that's really, really super helpful, um, especially like in between songs when the lights go down and stuff. And we have a lot of that kind of stuff with Anthrax, where there's uh, almost like an intro tape kind of thing for certain songs, segues and stuff like that. So it's really cool to know where your your fingers are <laughs> on the neck. Um, yeah, the guitar is made of um, swamp ash, um, rosewood fingerboard. That's my uh, new DiMarzio signature pickup, which screams. I'm really stoked on that as well. Uh, Tone Pro's hardware. Is your signature pickup in both the bridge and neck then? No, this is a, I believe this is the Air Norton, DiMarzio Air Norton. I don't. I very rarely use the, the neck pickup. You can see it's, yeah, I have it it's really low. sunken way low, yeah, so. Um, a lot of times the, the strings will get caught under the lips, that's why I keep it low. In the studio I'll use it for certain sounds and effects and stuff and overdubs. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. It's, it you know, it's mainly the, the bridge pickup for me. Um, it's Brazil locking tuners. It's just a really good, well-made, balanced, kick-ass guitar. <laughs> And you have a backup to that? Yeah, I have, I have yeah, exactly. This it's is the exact same? Exactly the same thing. Yep. Same guitar. And these just, these just came out uh, a few months ago. What are you using for strings? For strings, I'm using Diodario 10 to 52s. So it's kind of like a hybrid set. Do you tune standard? Or are you, ha are you a half step? With Anthrax, we tune a half step down. Some songs are drop, drop tuning, so it would be C sharp on the bottom. So do you just tune on the spot then, or do you switch between that and the backup if you drop tuning? I have a really good guitar tech, uh, <laughs> Darren Darren Grant Sanders, which I don't know where he, I don't know where he went, but uh, he's really good. So awesome. I trust him, you know, tuning the stuff. But a lot of times, uh, you know, depending on on the set, and you know, if it's, if it's like a festival show or something like that, and we have a song where it's where it's a different tuning, I'll just because I have my boss tuner and my yeah. pedal board, I'll just go up there and tune the one string, whatever. Just to save time, you know. What are you using for picks? For picks, um, usually using Dunlop Tortex, the uh, the yellow. It's one right here. So it's um, 0.73 millimeters. I think everybody knows the colors too. I said yeah, everybody yeah. always has the purple or the yellow. I have them with my name and the Anthrax yeah. logo on them and stuff. This is just one. It's kicking around, but it's the same uh, the same gauge as, as the yellow. Yeah. All right, well, we can move along to your pedal board, which is down here. You want to talk about the effects you're using? Yeah. Uh, the pedal board's pretty simple, but but it's very functional and very cool for, for what I'm doing. Uh, it was put together by a guy named Dave Friedman out in California. He was a guitar genius with, like, pedals and pedal boards and amps and stuff. He's awesome. Um, so everything's really well mapped out. For leads, I'll I'll turn on you know one of the overdrive pedals. I have this one here, which is a Death by Audio Interstellar Overdrive. I love it. Um, it's really really versatile. And I'm also using this pedal. I don't even know what this is. I got this at a at a music store on the road. It's just a weird crazy overdrive pedal. I don't I don't even know what it is, but it sounds good. Yeah, it's so like a web address on there that's all rubbed off. Well, yeah, exactly. maybe they'll see the video and yeah. get in touch. It's cool though. So I'll either use one of the one of those two uh, overdrive pedals for the lead sound. Uh, what's the difference between the tones and how why you're choosing one over the other? This one is a bit warmer. Uh, it's very versatile. This this is actually two overdrive pedals basically in one, and you could run them where one feeds the other one. It just creates all kinds of crazy fuzz and. Uh, there's also a cool, almost syncopated kind of choppy sound that comes out when you have the knob set a certain way that I use a lot live. 
Um, I'm always, for, for solos, I like to put a compression pedal on just to kind of make the notes kind of uh, a little more even, a little more in your face. So I use the MXR Custom Comp, which I love. Um, the MXR Smart Gate is always, always engaged for the rhythm sound and for the lead stuff. It just keeps everything really quiet. The Phase, Eddie Van Halen Phase 90, I use for certain things. I think I only use it in one spot on the Anthrax set. Uh, I was using it actually a lot more on the on the Damn Things tour, but it's a great pedal. It's awesome. It's got the best paint job ever. Um, and of course the MXR Micro Chorus. It's just a basic chorus pedal. It sounds really good. I use that uh, for a song called In the End, the Anthrax. Uh, for most of the leads, I have the Delay Boss DD. Was it DD5? I think it is. Um, with the tap tempo as well. So a little bit before the lead kicks in, I'll, I'll tap the tempo of the song so the, so the repeats are in time, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I got this, this is actually fairly new, this Tech 21 Boost RVB pedal, which is basically, it's, it's a really cool reverb pedal, but it's also a boost and it gets a little hairy as well. So I use that for certain things. Do you have like a specific songs? I use that on In the End live, yeah, for the for the solo. I use the micro chorus for the the part right after the solo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it a regular Crybaby? Crybaby classic, yep. So are all of the pedals in their own loop then? Yeah, everything is basically turned on and off by this crazy thing here, which is a Musicom Lab. It's a Korean company, and it's just a loop switcher um, that basically just like you said it just turns on different combinations of pedals and one one other cool thing i'm doing when i when i click one of the one of the presets for a lead i'm also switching channels of the amp oh really so the amp is controlled through this as well yes i have it wired so it does that so i'm switching i'm actually switching channels i have the the channel uh the lead channel set a little higher so it's get it's like a real boost rather than just a boost pedal you only have to stomp one one button. Yeah, well, it just it just comes up quite a bit. Yeah. And, you know, a band like Anthrax, which is so damn loud on stage, you kind of need that to to cut through. Well, let's uh, check out the amps then. Yeah, I'm using uh, Fryet amps. Um, in particular, I've been using the Sig X, which is which is Steve Fryet's new new design, latest latest design, and I love it. It's just it screams. I've been. I've been using his stuff for years. I mean, the company used to be called VHT for a long time, and then he had to switch names and stuff. But it's the same, the same exact amps, you know. Are you so you're just using one of those? I'm using yeah. I'm using one amp. The other one's a backup. Okay. Yeah. And just running through one of the four twelves. I'm running both both of the four twelves. I think we just mic one of them. Okay. And what are the speakers in those? That's a good question. I'm not sure because the, these these cabinets are a loner. Okay. It's a loner backline. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's in what's in these particular cabinets, but uh, the cabinets I know are are designed to match the Sig X head, so they're voiced for that head, and they they just sound awesome, you know. All right, Rob. Well, we really appreciate you taking some time to show us around your rig today. No worries. This is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks, Rob.